Hello, this is Michelle Waters with Rethink ELA and I am working on a tutorial for you to show you how to turn one, uh, one document in on multiple assignments in Google Classroom. This tutorial is for students and for teachers. Um, the problem that I faced is that I would assign students a rough draft to write and they'd write their rough drafts and they'd attach them to Classroom um, right over here as you can see on our screen and they would um, turn that in and then the next week while I'm working on trying to get caught up on grading all of these essays that I've had them turn in they I would give them a revision assignment and they wouldn't be able to attach their previous work to the new assignment they would get this message right down here in the bottom left corner couldn't attach file attach a file you own well, the problem is that since they had turned in their assignment, um, it was I had been made the owner. And since I hadn't returned it to them, then they were not able to attach it to the new assignment. So I'm going to show you how to solve that problem. First of all, I'm logged in as a student right now into my sample writing group, Google Classroom. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a Google document. in this um, testing assignment. So then I'm going to pretend like I actually did some writing and I'm going to turn that in. I'm going to scoot over here to where I'm logged in as a teacher and I'm going to refresh this screen. And if I go over here to the to-do, it'll show me that this has been turned in. And so what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and give myself a grade. This is an important thing. You have to give it a grade and then click return. And now I'm going to go ahead and return to the class and I'm going to create a new assignment. And call it revisions, 100 points, no due date, put under writing projects, um, don't have to worry about a rubric or attaching anything for the purposes of this tutorial, so I'm just going to hit assign. I'm going to go back over here as a student and ah, there's my revisions. I'm going to view the assignment and I'm going to add or create and this time I'm going to go to Google Drive. And I'm going to find that assignment that I just created, which is this one right here. And I'm going to click Add. And as you can see, it attached. So before I turn anything in, I'm going to go back over here. Go to this is a test. There's the assignment. And one trick I like to do is I'm going to open this up. I'm actually going to change the title. I don't need a period in there. So I'm going to change that title. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to refresh the screen. There it says this is just a test. So now I'm going to go back to revisions and it's attached here as well. Um, because that other assignment is turned in and then graded and returned to me as a student, I own it as a student and I can attach it in more than one location. So I'm going to turn this one in. There we go. If I go to classwork, I can view my work. Um, revisions is just a test. I've got a grade on this one. This one's turned in as the teacher. I'm going to go over here to, to do. Um, revisions. I'm going to say I did a really good job on my revision. Going to give myself a 100 and hit return. And as a student, I'm going to go right back over here and hit refresh. Oh, and I think it had already refreshed actually. So now, same assignments um, or same work, two different assignments. So, students, um, if you have trouble 
attaching your assignment that you've been working on or your project that you've been working on to the next week's assignment, uh, just let me know because it means I most likely need to go in and grade it. You can go into the original um, assignment, the first week's assignment, and edit there. But then before the due date, you'll need to make sure you um, get with me. I'll get your assignment graded and return to you once you see it saying graded over here, or you see your grade, I mean, then you can go ahead and attach your assignment to um, the new assignment. So if you have any questions about that, just let me know. Thank you.